All praises to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Makakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalawam to the elect to the nation of Israel. This is just going to be a quick message out there, man, to all of you proud women, man. And the message is, or the question is, man, are all of you women starting to regret asking for equality yet? Right? Are you starting to regret all that talk about how you're equal with men yet? Are you starting to regret it? Right? And I already know the answer to it, really. It's, it's, it's kind of halfway. You're kind of half a regretting it because you enjoy all the power that you've been able to get in this world now, which is fake power, really, that's still given to you at the hands of men. Right? It's not no power that you have on your own. Right? It's power that men have gave you. Right? That men can also take away if they choose to do so. Right? If every single man makes a covenant with each other and agrees, women are no longer going to be able to do any of the things that they currently get away with. You wouldn't be able to get away with none of them. Right? We know this and you know it, but you try and play games like you don't know it because that's part of the manipulation that you have been able to get away with in this world, man. But the question is, are you starting to regret all of the um, talk of equality yet, man? Because this world... Even though you've got all this power that you've never had before in your lifetime, you're still miserable. None of you are still winning, right? None of you are still been able to get the um, dream life that you all think that you're supposed to have, which is pretty much this, right? That you women get access to um, the most handsome rich man that you can get based on your looks, right? And he thinks that you're better than him, even though he's got the ability to pay for all of your things in your life and you don't have the ability nor the willingness to take care of anything in his life and he's supposed to chase you all around the world for the honour to be able to pay for your whole life and anything that you ever decide to change your mind that he wants to that that you desire he's supposed to be able to pay for that and then on top of that he's supposed to be handsome enough right and good enough in the bedroom so that you're satisfied right but then and then you want to be able to boast about it this is the woman's fantasy that I've seen based on all these things that take place in this world then he's supposed to be that amazing that other women want him but because you're so amazing and lovely he will just never step away from you because you're his sweet sugar pie honey buns and he would never he could once he's got you there ain't no need for no other woman because you're just the be all and end all of every other woman this is what women actually think in their mind is supposed to take place right and then on top of that your man's supposed to be so much more better than every other man in the world so that you can continually be reminded that you've got the best man. And then in all of that taking place, because you've got the best man and all the other women want your man, but he don't want none of them, then you, in your mind, will then be able to say, well, obviously that means I'm the best because I've got the best man that no other man's better than, right? And all the other women want my man, but he don't want none of them. So that means then that I'm the best. How many of you women have got that dream that you, that delusion that you have in your mind? How many of women have got that? How many of you have been able to achieve that zero? And if to the outside it looks to any of you women that another woman has got that life, well, what do you women do? Quick time, run and sleep with that woman's husband and then tell her that you did it in the hopes that you can break it up and steal her husband away. But then the, the lie is that women don't like men that commit adultery. Yeah, right, man. Women don't like men that cheat. Yeah, right. Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 9. Rise up, you men that are at ease. Hear my voice, you careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Right? Are you women starting to regret asking for all of that um, equality yet, man? Because you, you, none of you are winning. Not one of you have been able to win in this new system that you all enjoy. None of you are winning down here. None of you are really winning, but yet you still love this place, man. And what are you going to do when this society falls and you've been just loving this place that really was made to destroy every Israelite? The male Israelites are destroyed in this place, but the women, the female Israelites are destroyed in this place too, man. Many days and years she be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fall, the for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women are at ease, 
Be troubled, you careless one, strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. There shall amend for the teach, for the present fields, for the fruit of vine, and the belonging to be a part of this world again. But it's not coming back. It's once this society falls, it's not coming back to be. The world's never going to get to be like this again. There's never going to be no world that's just worshipping women for nothing. Like the things that a man has to do to get the same praise, to get the, the same praise as what women get in this world, right, is ridiculous, right? The only person really in this world or that we're ever going to see that's been a, that's going to be able to easily overcome the kind of praise that women get is Yahweh Shai. But look at what Yahweh Shai had to go through, right? Look at what Yahweh Shai had to go through, man. And he's gonna he's gonna be the one that's gonna get way more praise than any of you wicked women have been able to get in this world. But look at what he had to go through, man. Whereas women want praise in this world for things that among the male like male um life is nothing to be able to do those things. You're considered as so what? They're like so. Right? You got women that are like look like they should be on the short bus bus. Talking about they want a man that's a, a dread-headed millionaire that's over six foot. And you're looking at them and you're like, really? You think so, bro? You think so? But if you're equal, if we're doing equality then, well then okay, you're going to have to meet the height requirement that we like. And you're going to have to be a millionaire. Or you're going to have to make the same exact amount of money as what the man makes. But you wouldn't want to be judged by that, would you? You wouldn't want to be judged. You don't want to be judged for anything. Ultimately, you don't want to be judged for your body count. You don't want to be judged if you stink. You don't want to be judged for your bad attitude. You don't want to be judged because you can't cook. You don't want to be judged because you can't clean. You don't want to be judged because you're a single mother. You don't want to be judged because you do. You don't have a good enough job. You don't want to be judged because you don't have a job. You don't want to be judged because you um don't have you have a bad diet. You don't want to be judged by your weight. You don't want to be judged for anything. You don't want to be judged because you can't afford the latest brands. You don't want to be judged for wearing shine, shine clothing. S H E I N. You don't want to be judged for that. You don't want to be judged for wearing Primark, right? But you judge a man for his height. You judge a man because he don't make enough money. You judge a man for him. Um, you judge a man. You you say that you don't like men that cheat and all this stuff. This is the terminology that women use. But then they'll also judge a man because, and they'll say, ah, you don't get no hoes. You know what I mean? They'll judge a man for being a liar, but they don't tell the truth. You see? But but at the same time, they want equality, man. Then No, you don't, man. Like, you asked for equality, but now that the world's starting to somewhat show you what the equality you're asking for looks like, you're complaining. Now that you're in situations where some of you women have gone LG free T with it, right? And you ended up in relationships with women, you end up realizing actually, no, you and you nah, you, you're gonna go back to men. Which really you're not supposed to have even got the opportunity to have tried to switch back according to the laws of Yahweh. But even within the women trying to be in relationship with women, they see in that that they're bogged out as all hell anyway, because even in that the women can't find no peace. Yet they want to try and blame men, oh, men are this, men are that. But then when they try and do it that way, they still find that that's the generator even worse. That's even worse, which is clear that that's worse because that's an abomination. In the eyes of the Lord and in the eyes of the believers of the Lord, it's an abomination too. But this is just a quick video, man. Are you women starting to regret asking for equality yet, man? And if you ain't been convinced yet that this equality that you're asking for was the wrong thing to ask. Well, don't worry. The day of Yahweh Bar Sham Yahweh Shai's wrath is going to give you all the convincing that you will need. Shalom to the elect to the nation of Israel.